Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In this video, we will start a new topic on content provider. As you are aware, in a typical Android operating system, each app is hosted in a separate process. Each process might be having its own data. That is, app 1 could be having its own database. There could be a scenario wherein app 2 wants to connect to the app 1's database. This is not possible because the database or the data that is being maintained by the app 1 is private to that particular app. The only legal mechanism is the app 2 need to request the data from the app 1 and app 1 will respond back with the data. Now the obvious question is how to make sure that app 1 exposes its data in a secure manner. That is where a new component comes into picture called as content provider. The app 2 will use an API called as content resolver using which it will hit app 1's database or the data and content provider that is defined in the app 1 will respond back using a format called as cursor. You can see that it is a inter-process communication. What content provider does is it provides you a kind of abstraction from handling this inter-process communication. In a real world scenario, the app 1 could be a, a contacts app which contains different contacts stored by the user in the device and app 2 could be a WhatsApp or a Skype app which is trying to access the contacts that are stored in the device. The content provider abstracts the way this communication happens. So from the app 2's perspective, that is a WhatsApp or a Skype perspective, it doesn't really matter how the data is stored in the contacts app. It could be stored in a database, it could be stored in a file, or it could be stored in a JSON file or XML file. As long as content provider exposes that data, I should be able to pass through the data that is being returned from the content provider defined in the contacts app. The context object contains a method called as get content resolver which returns us an instance of a content resolver. To actually hit the correct content provider you need to know the uniform resource identifier or in short referred to as URI. You can think of it as a some kind of a URL that you typically use to hit a unique website. URI would be unique to that content provider. The content resolver provides you certain methods using which you can perform CRUD operations, basically create, retrieve, update and delete operations. You can also perform batch operations. So it basically provides you a mechanism to connect with a remote data as if you are doing a, some kind of database operations. Now coming back to the cursor, if you can think of the data written from the content provider as tabular format containing rows and columns, cursor is an API which allows you to traverse through those rows defined in that particular tabular format data. In the next video, we will go through a demo which involves all these concepts and what we will do is we will implement a app which will be trying to access the data of a, another app. So stay tuned for the demo in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.